Concluding this series of videos, I want to wrap up the subject by summarizing what I've been saying so far, and then after this quick summary, I will add a few more tips at the end of the video on how males can become real men. Okay, so first we said that to be a man, you need to be able to take care of yourself, financially, that is. To provide for yourself and not depend on anybody else is the least that is expected of any man. If you can't provide for yourself, if you're not responsible as a man, you have no business being married or raising a family. Second, we said that real men are truthful. They are honest. They don't have a secret life that they need to cover up for with lies. Real men have principles, and honesty and truthfulness are just two of the basic principles that they live by. And if you women are with a man who lies, you should be really careful. You think he's a man, but in fact what you have is just a male by your side. Don't be deceived by cheap imitations out there. Third, a real man is a man of only one woman. He's not a womanizer. He is careful to find the one woman that he wants to live for, and when he does, all other women, as far as he is concerned, might, might as well be men, because he has no interest in them anymore. And for that reason, too, real men don't go around making women pregnant and bringing fatherless babies into the world. No. Real men have children, not just offspring. They are real fathers, not just sperm donors. Fourth point we said last week is that a real man is a man of decision. He knows where he's going. He's quick to find his path even when he gets lost on this journey of life. And he's ready to do whatever it takes to get to his destination. There is no insecurity or indecision with him. So these are four basic pillars of manhood, if you like. But there are a few more points that I would like to add as well. Things like maturity, for example. Real men don't act like a child. And, by the way, they don't treat their wife like a child either. Of course, mature men also know how to have fun, how to relax, how not to be serious all the time. But the, the fact of the matter is that you won't find real men playing video games for hours on end every week at the expense of their family, their marriage, or of other important things in their life. Another point, and this one is specifically for married men, is that when a real man is married, he doesn't act like a single man anymore. He knows that he has to leave his original family, and now he is forming a new family with his wife. He's no longer mama's boy. He's no longer the guy going out with his friends on the weekend while his wife stays home. He no longer thinks just about himself because now he has a wife to take care of, so his marriage always comes first. Now, finally, to conclude this subject, here's what I think is the most important characteristic of a real man, and this is it. He knows that he is not God. That's right. What I mean by that is, he knows that he's limited. He can't do everything himself, everything alone, however talented, however smart or strong he may be. So, he depends on God. He makes God his helper. The truth is that God is the mentor and teacher of all real men. The Lord Jesus Christ, the greatest man who ever lived, is the real man's inspiration and true role model. And if you're a woman looking for a real man, 
Find out if he has a true relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because if he does, I can guarantee you this one thing. You will be in good company. Until next week, God bless you. Thank you for watching. And remember, man up.